I feel like I need to start off by saying sorry. I didn't realize how much you guys enjoyed or wanted to watch the makeup videos. Like I, uh, with YouTube, and I know you guys know how it is, like you go through phases of enjoying filming different things or even just filming different things. Like you end up not doing things as often. Um, and makeup is one of those things that, to be fair, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I wanna do more of, like I, especially after this video, by the way, we found some gems, okay. <laughs> a lot of you as well have said that you, at the moment, feel quite disconnected from me. You feel like I, I don't play a huge part in this anymore or that I, I don't know, the, the vibes and the feels that you guys are getting, like, that just hits, hits me in the feels. <laughs> never, like, that is never the case. I can kind of understand what you're saying. Maybe it's because I've not been as active or the things I have been filming are quite samey or I don't know. I do read shit, guys. And just because I don't address it all the time doesn't mean I have not stored it somewhere and that I'm feeling it, you know what I mean? Believe me when I say though, I enjoy this and appreciate you like watching this more than you think. Honestly, I might not say it all the time and it might not sometimes seem like it, but it doesn't mean that that doesn't exist and it's not there. A makeup video was definitely at the top of my list and I thought it would be cool to kind of just sit down and just chill, try loads of new makeup. These are makeup products though that I know you've wanted to see, either by me putting things on my like Instagram stories and like PR stuff, feedback from you guys like in my DMs or whatever. Like this is stuff that I really wanted to try and I know you have wanted to see. So it's gonna be interesting. We're onto some winners with this. So if you wanted to your makeup game this could be the video for you this is the look that i created by the way which i just wanted to do something a bit like different so i've gone for that like neon graphic colored liner more natural skin for me which it might not look like it but i promise you'll see with the products and stuff it's just a really fresh cool look and i feel like there's a lot of stuff in here that you guys will like so i'm gonna shut up because i just keep talking thank you for being here guys honestly thank you for watching just engaging in anything that i do please know i appreciate it don't ever feel <laughs> god <laughs> Get your bank cards ready, ladies and gents, okay? Because I've got some cool shit to add to your makeup bag, so let's go. Let's think. What are we doing? It feels a little bit weird to be filming one of these because it's been a while and I don't really know what I'm doing. I, I kind of know I want to do colour. Maybe we'll do something kind of groovy and funky and like a graphic liner or something. I don't know. All I do know is I need to sort this out right now. We're going to do brows first though because to be honest with you, I have no idea how this is going to go. I'm a little bit skeptical. This is new from Barry M. It's the Fix Me Up Brow Tamer. The reason why I'm so curious about this is because this is genuinely like a liquid. Comes in like a dropper bottle. You even get a little spoolie in here as well. I don't know about this, you guys. I'm kind of like, oh, it literally is a prepare. Like, look at that. And it's like pure liquid. This claims to style, tame, and maintain your brows. Apparently it gives you that laminated brow effect. So it's basically meant to glue down my eyebrows. That's meant to... Glue down my eyebrows? I don't know, I mean, I shouldn't judge. Let's just do this, man. It says to apply a drop to the spoolie brush, then gently comb upwards for a laminated brow effect, which stays in place all day long. It's the consistency. I'm used to something a bit thicker, something with a bit more grip, almost. You guys know I use the got to be glue, so I'm used to something that genuinely glues my eyebrows in place. I'm gonna use my finger to like push that down. I'm gonna add some more. My brows tend to be quite stubborn, especially like here on the arch, which is why I typically use something a bit stronger. Definitely like lifted my eyebrow. The only thing I'm noticing is that brow hairs aren't sticking to my skin. I have a feeling if you have naturally fluffy eyebrows, if you were blessed in that department, this could be wicked because I feel like you could just pull it through and it would just help to fluff up your eyebrows. But if you're someone like me that wants them to stick down, I'm not sure this is necessarily the product for you. As it's drying, it's getting better, but I just... I could literally probably do that and my eyebrow will go back. Baby, you're not for me. <laughs> Let me go glue my eyebrows down real quick and then I do have a product to fill them in, okay? I'll be back. Whew, okay, we're back. I've, I look mad. I know, I look crazy. Concealed the brows, prepped the eyes. Just bear with me. Makeup looks shit before it gets better. Chill. <laughs> I'm about to give Barry M another chance, okay? Because with that comes this. The new Feather Brow Brow Defying Pen. We all know I love a brow marker. Some of my favorites. Benefit do a wicked one. Misguided's brow marker, beautiful. Barry M have joined the hype and we're gonna give them a go. And their drugstore as well, which is even better. So I've got all three shades here. I think I'm gonna go for the medium though. So we've got light, medium and dark. Even though my head's black, I don't like to go too dark with my eyebrows. So we're gonna go for this. There's actually quite a big nib. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, okay. It's almost, um, I was gonna say watery, but that's not the right term. It's like not an opaque formula, which is almost sometimes good because then you don't go too crazy. Let's give it a go. That filled in that gap instantly. Let's do the arch and the tail. So far, so good. That's definitely added more like volume to my eyebrow. If you compare this side to this side, it definitely looks more obviously filled in. One place to tell is the front of our eyebrow.
Barry and Babes, I think we've brought it back. I actually really like this, you know, it's almost foolproof because it's not a scary marker pen. Doesn't overly fill in your brows, where the consistency obviously isn't as opaque as some other brow pens. Gives you time to build up. Um, and it almost makes it look more natural. I, my only criticism, colors a teeny bit on the warm side. Then again, do we really know this? Am I just being a bitch? I'm just being a bitch. Shut up, Jordan. You like it. You like it. One out of two isn't bad, right guys? I mean, listen, we found something that we fuck with. Another thing I really like about it is it's quick to use, meaning convenience for time is fab. Guys, if you're into that more soap brow effect, that more feather brow, and you're into like markers as well, this is a great one on the market. Next up, let's do eyes. I'm thinking we do the eyes, then we can finish off with the skin. That way, if anything goes wrong, we haven't fucked everything up. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Beauty Bay have recently come out with this new liner palette, which I thought was a really interesting concept. You know, you're used to eyeshadow palettes, powders and things like that. But from what I'm aware, this is actually a like gel liner palette. It's called the Aquavated Liner Palette and you get five different shades in here. I don't think the camera's quite picking it up, but the orange and the pink, so the ones on the end, these are actually like neon. Then these are a bit more muted, um, but it's still like a colorful, cool palette, right? Each ultra pigmented water activated liner dries down to a budge proof finish that lasts all day. That sounds, sounds like a pretty simple concept, right? So you add some water to your brush, to the pan, whatever, activates it, and then you can apply and it's meant to like not move, smudge, budge, all that good stuff. For brushes today, I'm actually gonna use the Cash Beauty makeup brushes because I haven't got around to using these yet. First of all, can we just talk about the aesthetic of these brushes? They are beautiful and they feel like real nice quality, soft. Pretty sure they're synthetic as well, meaning they're not gonna soak up all the product. Do you know what I like about them too? Is the fact that they have the branding on, but they also all have a number as well. I don't know what it is, but when a brush has a number like that, I feel like it's more professional. It feels more luxe. Real pretty brushes, okay? She's a 10 out of 10, to be honest. So I'm excited to use these. There's this brush here, which I feel like would be perfect. I'm gonna use for the liner. This is the K12 brush, tiny. I feel like that would be perfect to create like a, do you know what I mean? Hmm, I'm just debating which one to use right now. It's gotta be the pink or the orange, right? I'm thinking the orange, which is called electric. One sec, I need some fuel. I'm getting hot, I'm nervous. I haven't played around with makeup in a long time, you guys. Graphic liners, I need a steady hand, to be honest. Also, your prayers would be nice. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks for the support. I'm actually just gonna use some setting spray to wet the brush. Obviously, you can just use water. Okay, sweet. That's nice and... I wanna see how opaque this is. Shut the... Oh my God, okay. Plan is to do some sort of just like swoop like this and then maybe I'll add some accent lines somewhere just to kind of switch up rather than like a cow eye wing. Let's just, let's go with the flow and let's just see where this goes. Top tip, I found when I've done graphic liners in the past, you just gotta go for it. I know you saw that. That was one line. And look at that. I'm just gonna go in and like thicken this up. Let's see how easy this is to clean up. I've gone a little bit too thick here. So let's see if we can take a little bit of concealer and just sort of adjust. Yeah, easy, cool, nice. I was just seeing if, because obviously it says it dries down, I didn't want it to either like maybe flake off if you go near it, be impossible to touch up because some of us, we're not gonna get the liner perfect every single time, do you know what I mean? Like some of us do need time to adjust and fix it and it let me do that, so. You know, another thing that I like about these palettes is the fact that you can customize shades if you wanted to. Like you could water activate a few of them, kind of mix and match and create your own custom thing. It's like a cute little, design and a good idea. I mean, listen, if you're feeling a bit groovy that day, you could literally tap into all of the shades, create some like wicked eye look. I'm gonna play it safe today and just use the orange, but I actually love this. I think this is such a cool idea. I think it'd be even cooler if they did these in different colors as well. I don't know if they do. I'm really enjoying the formula of these. So imagine if they had a more like neutral toned one where they had like blacks, browns, maybe like a white even. Then on top of that, they had different color varieties as well. That would be wicked beauty, babe. If you don't already do that, I'm a fan of these liner palettes. Please do, okay? <laughs> I'm now just gonna go in and finish off the look with maybe just some accent lines in any of the gaps. I'm thinking the outer corner, maybe a bit on the inner corner, just to bring the look together. Um, but one thing I will be really interested to see is when these are fully dried down, I give them a couple minutes, if they crack. I mean, I'm loving the formula. They are so easy to work with. With this little brush as well, by the way, fab. Especially for intricate, intricate, in intricate <laughs> looks with fine detail. This combination of this brush and this is great. I am gonna let this sit. I'm gonna do the other eye. Please don't crack. I mean, so far so good, but please don't crack. Good news though, guys, this did not crack at all. In fact, I had to touch up this side quite a bit because I was struggling. <laughs> Meaning I've layered up the product and sometimes liners like this, if you end up having to layer them up and kind of go over them, they tend to crack because obviously they're more layered, right? This hasn't 
at all. In fact, I can't even feel it on my skin. I've had liners in the past where, because they're quite thick and by the time they dry down, you can almost feel them and you feel like you don't want to move your face in case they do crack. This, none of that. Let's finish off this look with some lashes and some mascara. So I actually have this one that I don't think I've ever tried from Makeup Revolution. Lift and Define 5D Lash. Now this has some claims. This is what it says, right? Extreme Extension Mascara, five star length, five star lift, five star defined, five star stretched and five star volume. Lash extension effect, apparently. That is a lot of claims for a mascara. So I'm expecting, I'm okay, I'm expecting this to be the best mascara I've ever used in my goddamn life. Let's have a look at the brush. Oh, okay, it's one of those um, skinny, this is my favorite type of wand actually. Is it plastic or is it just shorter? I think it's just shorter bristles. I'm not gonna do anything to my lashes, by the way. I'm not gonna curl them, nothing. We'll just see how it works on its own. Oh, shh. Got it on my liner. I'll try and coat this as best as I can, although I am going to be wearing lashes anyway. But just to give you a full thing on this mascara, I actually do like the way this is making my lashes look. These are parts of my lashes that were always really droopy. It's so annoying. I feel like if you curled your lashes, then applied this, that would be bomb. I can imagine that being sick. You know, another thing I like about this mascara is the fact that it gives you build up time. There's no instant clumping, it gives you time to layer. So you can almost get it as voluminous as you want to. I feel like this look definitely needs some lashes, right? So I'm gonna try these ones from a brand called C&E Cosmetics. I believe these are like a small little Instagram company. I got sent these in PR, they look beautiful. So I have to use them. I think I also have the glue somewhere as well. Yeah, here it is. C&E Cosmetics Glue Adhesive, fast drying, waterproof. Oh my God, latex free. And it's latex free. We all know I'm low key allergic to latex. Yeah, I still use it. Don't follow in my footsteps unless you want swollen eyes and itchy lash lines. <laughs> the packaging on this lash glue, by the way, that feels kind of like luck. Love that. These are my favorite styles, by the way, of the lashes. So we've got Violet. These look really cute. They're really fluffy. They're almost kind of cat eye winged out, but with like loads of fluff and volume. Next, we have Willow, which these ones, if you like fluff, you'll love these. Look at those. They're like really layered and fluffed out. I don't even know if this is going to do it justice they're great lastly these are called caitlin these are like fluff but definition at the same time can you see the sort of spaces in them i might go for these i don't know what they're called though the only annoying thing is is the labels are on the packaging not the box i throw that out so i'm never going to remember what these ones are i literally can't remember now <laughs> pretty sure these were the second pair that i showed so if you just rewind it back or look in the description because i'll put them there a little trim love the fact that this actually has an applicator by the way and it's not like a squeezy tube they're just so much more easier. Right, let's let these dry for a second. Not to suck my own dick, guys, right? But I won't lie, I'm a bit of like a connoisseur <laughs> with lash glues. The thing is, you might be thinking, George, why do you use latex lash glues if you're allergic to them? I don't really find many latex free lash glues good. Like I find that they end up peeling off, they don't stick as well. Nothing is more annoying than when your eyelash isn't stuck down. Do you know what I mean? So for me, I just end up going back to them. So we'll see how this one is. did give it a really nice coat of lash glue as well. Like a generous coat, so let's let them dry. They're really pretty though, they're dramatic. But I'm into that, you know? I feel like it complements this look really nicely. Oh, they're cute. I did actually notice too, the lash glue does go tacky quite quick as well. It did claim that as well. Like it goes on white and it does go clear within like 15, 20 seconds, which is wicked. So you don't have to wait long. Right, sorry guys, I just had to change my battery on my camera, but how? Amazing are these lashes just so fluffy and you know what relatively easy to apply not the easiest lash in the world to apply But not hard either. Do you know what I mean? They're just like the average lash, but they look beautiful. They're like a nice fluffy Statement eyelash. I would definitely wear them again. Let me zoom you in so you can see let's all just appreciate the fluff How amazing are they and I feel like they sit on the eye really nicely too. They sit like up. Do you know what I mean? Um they're really cute. Right, now we're gonna do skin, you guys. Let's move on to skin. Let's see if we find any new favorites. First up, let's prime the skin. This one I know you guys really wanted to see, and I've had this for a little while and I can't believe I've never used it because I'm so intrigued by it. It's by NYX, so I have high hopes for this because I love this brand. This is the Marshmallow Primer. Um, apparently it's got marshmallow root in. Use alone or with foundation. I think it's more of like a whipped texture and it's meant to kind of just smooth everything out and create the perfect brace. brace? base for foundation. Oh my God, it's literally like a whipped texture. It literally does look like marshmallow. <laughs> does it smell? Oh my God, it smells like marshmallow. No, it doesn't. I'm tripping. Oh my God, it kind of does. It smells like sweet, like that sugary sweet smell. Interesting. Oh my God, I think I've put 
way too much. <laughs> Interesting, do you know what it feels like? It feels like a hybrid between a moisturizer and a primer. It's got like the thickness and the creaminess of a moisturizer, but it's got that sort of slip like a primer has. Do you know what I mean? It's like the texture is like a hybrid between the two. It feels really hydrating as well. Okay, that feels nice on my skin. I mean, I've said it before, but primers, I can tell when I apply the foundation and then obviously the biggest thing is how it wears throughout the day. But right now we can see if it makes a difference to how my foundation looks underneath. It's really glowy. Can you see that? I wonder if it will like set. I feel like, now that I'm thinking about it, if you have dry skin, this would probably be really lovely because it feels very, it almost, I don't want to say the word oily because it sounds a bit scary for a primer. It's kind of got that slip to it, but I like it. Foundation, I know this was a popular product that you guys really wanted to see, the Fenty Ease Drop Blur and Skin Tint. Now, normally skin tints aren't my type of thing, but I've heard gleaming reviews about this. I've heard that this is more like of a coverage skin tint. It's not one of those like, not like a tinted moisturizer. I think it has more to it. Nowadays, people are loving this type of foundation rather than like the really full, I mean, I'm a full coverage bitch all day, every day, but <laughs> I know this type of thing is what people are grabbing nowadays. And I mean, to be honest, it'd be nice to find something a little bit maybe lighter for summer, but that still does something, you know? Let's see if this lives up to the expectation. So I've got a few shades here. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna maybe give them a little bit of a test. This is shade 10. Okay, that's not a bad match. It's a little bit dark, but I feel like once you've got concealer and stuff on, it will probably be all right. I do have shade nine here. So let's give this one a go. Oh, okay, now we're gonna go for shade nine. That looks a little bit better. This one I'm a bit more tanned would probably be fab. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with a brush for this, I think you guys. I'm gonna go in with the Cash Beauty KO2. I feel like a brush for these type of products, you'll get the best out of it. You know, like a sponge will maybe soak up excess product. This will keep this on my skin. I just feel like it'll be a good combo. Real quick, I'm gonna look at the claims for this foundation just so we can see exactly what it's meant to do. Oh, it's meant to be a blurring skin tint that delivers smooth, instantly blurred skin in just a few easy drops in 25 shade options too. Buildable light to medium coverage, which is cool. Smooth texture that layers well with primer and skincare. Applies well with fingers or a brush. Humidity, sweat and transfer resistant formula. That's interesting. Okay, so this basically should make a really nice summer foundation. Let's get it. Let's apply this to the skin. Press it into the skin. This actually be quite a good time to see because I do actually have a few breakouts on this side. So we'll see how well it covers in that respect. Okay, the first thing I'm noticing is how natural this looks on the skin and how skin-like it looks, but also feels. It doesn't feel heavy. It definitely doesn't look heavy at all. If anything, I can still actually see my skin underneath, which I surprisingly don't mind because it looks so beautiful on the skin and it's such a nice color. Like it's brought my skin to life. I can deal with that because concealers exist for a reason. Really easy to blend out as well. Like it's so like effortless. Only thing I probably am thinking of, how well this last up on my skin? It's pretty, I mean, dewy, but it did tell me that it's meant to be humidity resistant, sweat proof, stuff like that. So who knows, you know, you might be surprised. I mean, let me zoom you in so you can see the texture of my skin right now. So you can still see slight little bits of my skin peeping through. You can more kind of see it here for blemishes, but it has evened out my skin tone. Let me do a little bit more and let's see if it's buildable, if we can get any more coverage. What do you guys think? I definitely think that added a little layer, but can you still see how skin like that looks? That's pretty impressive. Okay, my biggest compliment that I will give to this product is the way it looks on the skin. Doesn't look like I'm wearing anything. It looks so natural. I mean, you can see for yourselves, right? For a product, like this that I wouldn't normally grab or that I wouldn't normally use, I really enjoy this. In fact, I like this so much right now, I would pick this up and use it again. I wanna see how other products will lay on top of it. How glam can we make this product look? Because it feels and looks lush, love. When I was looking at what I had, the only new concealer that I found was this one from Makeup Revolution. Now, I have heard this product, if you get it in like a contour shade, is almost a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's um, wand sticks that she's got. I've never tried them, but I'm not gonna use it for that today. I'm gonna use this as an actual concealer. It's the Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer. This is in medium. I'm hoping it'll be light enough. If not, I've got some of my Too Faced Born this way here that we can touch up with, which by the way, this, holy grail. If you would like to be Jordan, use one concealer for the rest of your life, this. You don't even have to ask me twice this. I don't have to think. So it has one of those sponge applicators. There we go. <laughs> Putting this in all the areas that I typically conceal and highlight, so underneath the eyes, chin, cupid's bow, nose, forehead. Might be a little bit off color. It's actually quite peachy. 
which for cancelling our under eye circles um, is fab. But I might have to go in with a little bit of Too Faced afterwards to brighten it up. But I don't want to do that yet because I want to test this formula. Love using a sponge for my concealer. So I'm going to test this one out from Cash Beauty. It's a Cash Beauty kind of day, you guys. Just going to go wet this. So there was. Right, she's grown. Look at her. And it's real squishy as well. It feels like a lovely texture. I like the fact this has a um, straight end, you know, because I feel like for concealer, be nice. Right, let's blend this out. Okay, this isn't the shade I'd normally go for. If anything, it kind of matches in with the color of my skin. I think it's a really low coverage concealer, but it's paired beautifully with that skin tint. If you like more natural makeup, them two together, fab. I feel like especially if you've got a lighter shade so you could brighten, I am gonna go in though with um, some of my Too Faced because I do like a bit of a brighter um, under eye and down the center of my nose. I kind of like to highlight and conceal at the same time because I feel like it lifts a bit more there we go that's what i'm talking about see how it just looks more lifted it adds definition to your face as well instead of it being you know one complete flat color you know what i didn't hate this though color aside it actually is a really nice natural concealer it definitely brightened you're not going to get the fullest coverage out of it but it did do something so if you're into more natural makeup that's great next up we've got to do some cream blush cream contour you guys know that's just how we roll i've been tossing up between like which ones to use out of these two products so i have the cash beauty ones here so she has cream blush sticks contour sticks and highlight sticks. But I have just got in the Refi Beauty Suggest Hunts brand's new summer skin collection, so cream bronzers, blush. Between the two, I'm gonna use the Refi one because I have actually used these before. I've been loving these. I probably will use these in a video soon so you can see how they perform on the skin, but I'm gonna try the Refi ones. Literally got like a whole ass book. <laughs> these are the products. So they are, the packaging is beautiful i think i might even use the brush as well cream bronzers blush and then this is a gloss highlighter so i'm gonna go in with the cream bronzer in the color sand off the bat just from looks alone i mean these could apply differently to adjust to different skin tones so like bear with me here but just from first impressions my only criticism is i think she could have done more shades or made like a light medium and dark one because i think this is the lightest one and that's not like if you had really fair skin i'm not sure how well that will perform on you however it could be quite sheer so this i could just be eating my words but that's just a first impression <laughs> this is the next one along tan which obviously is quite dark and then this is onyx yeah which is the third shade which is of course even darker so feel like we're missing a lighter one in here like a nice light fair cream contour shade, but going in with their brush too, I'm gonna take the flat side first. Press this on. Oh, okay, it's actually more on the, I don't wanna say sheer, cause you can definitely see that color on my skin, but it's more on the like thinner side, is that the word I'm looking for? Like wetter, dewier finish. It's more creamy. And as you can see, it's blending out like an absolute dream. Actually, if you had fairer skin, if you took this in small amounts, I actually think it might be all right for you because this is actually way more sort of like creamier and less intense than I thought it would be. I mean, I can definitely see why this is called summer skin because it's almost like glossing my skin at the same time. It's quite a wet formula, very natural. And it's sort of like buffs in with the rest of the products on your skin, which is really lovely. It isn't intimidating at all, guys. I've used many cream contour products. You guys know this. This has to be one of the easiest ones I've ever used, hands down. Like it literally just, you don't, you could do it with your eyes closed. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Only thing I'm worried about is how well this will hold up because I'm glossy right now. Like look, <laughs> mind you, I have used the most glowy products in the world today. You know what? I can see this product being lovely on no makeup makeup days just to give your skin a little bit of color because it's not too intense. I really love that. It's just very glossy right now. So I definitely need to do some setting on my skin after I've done all the cream products, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful product. Going in with her blush now as well. So this is her cream blush in the color Citrine, which this looks like my type of color. It's like that beautiful like peach. Going in with the duo fiber side now, I think. That one's probably made for blush because it's smaller, but we're here now. Press that over the top, kind of more in my cheekbone area. That's where I like to apply my blush because I feel like it lifts. But of course, every face shape is different. So do what works for you. Oh, look at that color. That is beautiful. And again, it's just melting into the skin. I know that that probably looks a little bit crazy right now, by the way. I always go quite intense with blush. <laughs> Once you apply your powders and stuff, it completely mutes it down anyway. Um, but that is a beautiful color. There are two other colors as well. I think more like pinky sort of tones, but I love that one. That sort of peach orange. 
I feel like it complements this look quite cute as well. I love blush, and if you do too, and you've not got on the cream blush trend, do it. It honestly will change your life. Do you know what it kind of reminds me of? Fenty's ones. Like her cream blushes, like in this smaller sort of pan. It's got the same sort of feel to it. That's a compliment, because I love the Fenty ones. I'm loving this. You know what? The Summer Skin Collection from Refai right now is beautiful. It definitely is that summer skin. It is named beautifully, because that is this. Like hands down. I don't know about you, but I feel like we need to set this because I'm very glossy, shall we say. <laughs> First product we're gonna go in with is this. Now I'm only gonna use this underneath my eyes because this is in a lighter shade, but I really wanna use this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Air... sure. Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. Now I have heard amazing things about this powder. Like people say that this genuinely just smooths your skin like no other, makes it look like perfect you got me gassed and i'm ready to try it so this is in fair number one i'm gonna go in with the cash beauty ko4 brush because i feel like that'd be perfect underneath the eyes i use the brush on this side and then i'm gonna use a sponge on the other and kind of like press it in now you guys know i love applying my powder with a wet sponge and like pressing it in because i feel like it really melts the powder into your skin and you don't get that like um powdery look underneath the eyes. So this is meant to give me like an airbrush type of. Stop, let me look closer. That is beautiful. Like it doesn't look powdery at all. And you can see obviously compared to this side, it's taken that shine away. This side has kind of just pulled everything together. It doesn't look heavy at all. I'm just gonna use it to sort of like cut underneath as well before I go in with a regular translucent powder. I don't want to use this all over, like I said, because it does have a slight bit of color to it and I don't want it to adapt and change too much, but I will use it in the center parts to keep that brightness. I don't even think that this powder needs a sponge. It It's great with a brush. Now it makes sense as to why so many of you were telling me to try this powder. It's lovely. Million percent, I'm gonna be picking that up again. Million percent for the center like that as well. That's just made everything look Love. Okay. Right, let me just grab my RCMA powder just to go over the rest of my skin. Um, I mean, it looks beautiful to be honest. You can see the rest of my skin has like a nice natural glow to it now, but for someone like me with oily skin, I definitely will have to set and then add glowier products on top if that makes sense. Do your thing though and what works for your skin type. I'm just gonna really quickly do a light dusting over my skin. Time for some bronzer now. By the way, I'm just letting my nose um, like bacon do its thing, so don't mind that. These quite possibly could be some of the most beautiful bronzer packaging I have ever seen. Can we appreciate like the quilted packaging on this bronzer? And it's like a nude shade as well. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. The Dior Forever Natural Bronze Powder Bronzer for face in, well, I've got shade 04 here and also 05. I, I'm an advocate for, there are, you don't always have to spend an absolute fortune on products to get something good. Especially high-end brands like this. I feel like there's like your drugstore, then you've got like your higher end like, but they're still in drugstores now, aren't they? Like benefits and stuff like that. Then you've got these guys like Dior and stuff like that. Dior for me personally, I think are one of them brands that I would happily invest money into because they have some fab products like their glosses their lip plumping glosses are beautiful some really nice base products like i enjoy this brand as like a luxury brand right i have high hopes and i always feel like you know what there is nothing wrong with treating yourself to a product that's worth it i'm gonna go in with tan bronze 04 i think am i or am i gonna go in with 05 warm bronze i'm gonna go in with warm bronze on a cash beauty k01 brush just like a big fluffy brush Guys, please don't help me, but I actually think that is beautiful on the skin. Like if you compare this side to this side, like especially the forehead area, it gives you time to layer, right? So it's not too crazy and in your face like instantly, but it's just, you know when it just applies like butter? It just smooth on the skin. That's a lovely color as well. It's very neutral, which is quite nice. It doesn't lean too warm or too cold. Like, look at this, look at that. That is beautiful. It's actually kind of contoured for me as well. I kind of like done both at the same time, but how just nice does that look on the skin? Have I just found a new favorite bronzer? I think I have. I haven't found a new favorite bronzer in a long time. 
I know it's Dior, but guys, it's so good. I'm gonna add a little bit of blush on top because you can never have too much blush. This one is by Vive, so Jamie Genevieve's brand. This is in the color Pesca, which you can tell has been used and abused. I love this. I'm gonna go in with a Cashmere K03 brush, by the way. The reason why I really wanna use this one is because the color I feel like will complement the eyes beautifully. Also, this is the most perfect coral peach blush. It's matte as well on the skin. Kind of like satin more, if that makes sense. You, you know the kind of vibe I mean, right? Let me just grab some on the blush and I sort of just press it into the skin. But do you see that? Such a beautiful color. I think this is my favorite color that she's done in the collection. I also think it's like the most versatile as well. Like peachy colors like this, everybody loves, right? A little bit on the nose as well. I could just sit here and layer this shit up all day quite honestly. <laughs> I mean, the Refai um, Summer Skin Collection underneath really brought my skin to life. Like, you could just wear that and go. I'm obviously just trying to show you as many products as possible for the video. But to be honest, this is how I would do my makeup. I quite like layering up my products and where I have oily skin, I like using powders on top of creams and stuff. It depends on the vibe I'm going for. Do you know what I mean? And how I want to look for that day. But beautiful blush, right? Like, it just adds the nicest flush of colour on the skin, so lovely. Highlighter now, I have to try these because these are so, latest collab with Maker Revolution. I believe these are highlighter duos, so they come with two different shades in as well. This one looks probably like something that I would use. This is Cookies and Cream, which is like that gold champagne coloring. This one is Sugar Frosting, which actually has that sort of same um, undertones, but just lighter. Then we've got Honey Glaze, which this would be beautiful for darker complexions. You can see you've got more of like a warmer and a cooler toned one there. I'm going to go for Cookies and Cream and I'm going to use it on a Cash Beauty K06 brush. I think it's actually an eyeshadow brush, but I quite like it for my highlight because it's more, you know, precise. Let me give this a little swatch. <gasps> Look at that. She isn't playing, she isn't playing around. She isn't playing games. Let's do this one. I mean, there she is. That is working onto the skin beautifully as well. I'm gonna pop some here as well, just to give sort of an overall sheen. I will do some on my nose once I've done, finished off my nose contour as well. But do you know what I like about it as well? Is it's not glittery at all. It just has that like, glow sheen to it. There's no glitter, no chunkiness, smooth. You can't tell me that that isn't beautiful. Do you wanna see it close up? Shall I bring you in so you can see all? Oh, see this? It just looks like a dew on the skin. Do you know what I mean? There's no, like I said, no glitter, no nothing. It just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I knew she weren't gonna disappoint though. Let's be honest. Love the fact as well, she's done it for different skin tones too. Love. Last thing now guys, lips. So I actually have a bunch of these NYX. This is Milky Glosses. These are brand new. I love a gloss, so I definitely wanna give these a go. So I believe these are vegan, yeah, infused with vegan milk. One thing, right. Now tell me if I'm the only one here, but it kind of cringes me out the fact that there's milk in here. <laughs> and I don't know why. Like I, I have milk, I drink, milk, not its own, but I have milk. Something about having milk in a lip gloss on my lip. I don't know, I wonder if they smell like milk. I hope not. I'm gonna go in and line my lips first with the Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. It's either this or Cash Beauty Rust Nude. They're my favorite lip liner that I'll use when I do like a nude lip. Just gonna fill in the edges a little bit because I'm not gonna do a lipstick, I'm gonna go straight in with the gloss. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Milk and Honey, which is the, we all know I'm gonna go for a lighter one in the middle, let's be honest. <laughs> okay, no, it doesn't, it just smells, smells a little bit sweet, but nothing overpowering. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. It feels nice too, you know. Do you know what? It literally has like a milky color to it. It's not completely opaque, but it definitely has like a little something to it. Plus, look how glossy that is. I actually don't think NYX have ever disappointed me in the lip department. So to be honest, I am not surprised. And you know what? They don't feel milky on. So they're actually not cringing me out as much as I thought they would. They also have some really nice colors in the collection as well, which is always a bonus. That's lovely. Milk and honey, love that. This is probably the shade I'd pick up the most. I'm definitely gonna pick that up again. I love that. That might become my new favorite gloss. Onto the finishing touches now, guys. I'm just gonna go back in with my Barium, um, 
brow marker. I'm using this just to go in and add my little like faux freckle bits that I like to do. That's just preference. Actually really nice to do this type of thing with, you know, cause it's like a bit more faded. It looks more like real. Then I'm going to try the infamous setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night, stay all day. I've been seeing this all over TikTok actually. Everybody's raving about this saying it's amazing. Oh my God, that's a really big bottle as well. Give it a shake. Oh, a nice, oh, it smells kind of perfuming. That smells nice, but it's a nice fine mist. I can't even feel that on my skin. It's really, really lightweight. Primes and sets for up to 16 hours. Instantly locking your look for makeup magic that looks just applied. No melting, no fading, no creasing. Obviously time will tell with that, but it feels lovely. Last thing, I'm debating whether to add some bottom lash mascara. Now I normally don't do that, but I feel like with this look, I'm like, shall I? Shall I? Fuck it, let's just do it. Let's just do it. That mascara is good for your bottom lashes, by the way. <laughs> I'm using that same Makeup Revolution mascara. I think we are done. Okay, cool, guys, that's it. We are at the end of this. I guess you could say like first impressions, right? Just sitting down, chill video, trying new makeup. Everything that I use, by the way, will be down below along with like shades and stuff. But honestly, there are products in here that are going in my makeup bag. What I will do to make our lives easier so I don't have to sit here and like run through it all in the description box, every product that I would say like, go out and buy right now, like you need in your life. I'll put like a little like star buy so that you know that's my favorite. So check the description box for that. I've loved doing this, you know, I've actually missed doing this. And I know you're probably like, well, shut up, you stupid bitch. You could just sit down and do it. Like it's your own fault. It is. When I was gathering the products for today's video, I found so many other products that I've been, I want to try that these videos now I'm going to do more of because there's so many like other stuff that I have. Let me know if there's anything new that you want me to try. I appreciate you guys more than you know. Okay, I love you.